this episode in this particular tutorial i will show you how to design this business card so without further delay let's go ahead and open your digital lab so the first thing i want to do is to, to create a logo in case you have a logo already you can use your logo so i want to just create a simple logo like this my name so the first thing is to type the uh, I want to use this A Y okay let's go to font we got created the logo so and uh, there is a font I use Okay, this is it, 20 dB. So you have your font already, you can just use it. So, there is it. So, bring it to the center. Okay, so the next thing is to go to color. So in this case, you can use any color that that maybe your brand color, the brand color you are using. But if you don't have brand color yet, you can use this one as well. So I'm going to be giving this Y another color. So this has to do it. Just remove the dot from this place and click on this. So that's it. So don't forget to so that's all that's the logo I want to use. So the next thing is to save this as PNG so that there won't be a background. So I'll come to this background, click on transparent. So I'll now save as image. You can save as project if you want to. So I'll be using ultra. So that's that save. So the next thing I want to do is to create the the front of the business card. You can click here, click on my project. Okay, wait. I can just delete this. Just give it background. Or you can just if you if this thing will we now understand it just close your pixel lab they open it again as fresh design so the size we are going to be using is 1000 by 650 so you already know how to change the size image size 1000 by 650 650 okay so that's that I want to give it a background color of white. So I can delete this. So the next thing to do is to bring your logo. So click OK. spaces so once you import your logo so I shrink it a little bit just to look like a perfect logo so the next thing I will do to is to to bring this shape to this rectangle, make it wide. You do this here, make it a little bit wider. So you can change the color to black. So next 
where you can color it so i will just copy it to this inside take it to back to change the color so, so don't forget if you have your own brand color you can combine your brand color and do this but if you don't have you can use this as well so that's it so the next thing i want to do is to type my name So I like to choose this font. I call it font. So in this case, I'm using the font I have imported. I'll be using my own font. So let me use this. I click bold. So I say I'll be using full width. <coughs> okay, all the names are all cast. I edit it here. So the next thing is to change the color. If it's black, so then you can now edit the other the other color. Good. So here. Sure, you are in the other way. I'm just trying to get perfect alignment. All right. So, don't forget to always lock your design. to put these two at the middle together you can click on this place this one and bring them to the middle so i want to drag them up a little bit perfect so the next thing is to type the other text that's my website and do that with us my name you can use your own details dot com so I use the same font but this time not bold Let me use medium. Change the color to black. Resize it. As is like thirty five is okay. So that's that. The front page is okay. You can save it as your project business card front click on ok so now save as image business card so don't forget to always use ultra save to gallery so the next thing is to create the back design which is so don't forget you can close your pixel lab and reopen it again the same size 1000 by 650 650 okay let's delete this first so we want to 
background as white. The next thing we want to do is our shape. Let's use black color. That's that. Make sure everything is centralized. So let's recopy this. We can resize it. So the color. Let's be using this. Bring it to the middle. Send it to back. So that's that. The next thing is to lock this design. So the next thing is to type your name. So if you want to use all capital letter after you type small letter you can see this place just click on it to change so that's that i want to change the font to i want to change the font to the same monster and i love this font so much it's basically my brand color, uh, my brand font. So, good. So, I see the need to put this two inside the lip space. So, let's see them. Let's see them inside the lip space. Okay. the font to let's use medium all right the color let's use black so the size let's use 35 so in order to achieve this everything in line use this um, this spacing the spacing increase it so that's that let's bring it down a little I think we can use 28 in that spacing 28 yes so let's shift it a little good so the next thing is to draw your shape Let's give it color. Okay. Dry your shape. Let's 
so okay another one so in order to get the balance i always like to align them to the center so that i'll get the correct position so copy again to the center so you can now drag this so let's change this color don't forget to always lock your so that I will not disturb them we want to change this color to the other color all right you can now group these two together as one so that we'll be able to resize it all right let's bring them down leave two Okay, we can leave it like this or we can resize if we want to. Good. So. Perfect. So, the next thing. I want us to shift everything up. So, let's go to select, select, select edit here let's move them up okay good so the next thing is to import our address uh, sorry our phone number email and website let's use ship first so let's change this color to this let's change the stroke a little oh, sorry the radius 20 okay let's reduce the size right let's try to get to the perfect shape good good so let's duplicate them take it to the middle to get the alignment all right to the middle so let's copy the same to the middle so let's move it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay let's do it like that copy again so to the middle so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then good so the next thing we want to drag this three to this place okay let's bring them to the middle first so okay good let's now bring them in good good let's go there perfect so let's lock all so the next thing is to put our text oh sorry let's import our resources let's import one so because the problem the reason why you are not seeing their color is because they are black so 
this the size very well so this is going to be in the middle so you can shift it a little bit good so let's import the second one so reduce the size Perfect. Let's import the third one. Sorry. And gallery. The third one. Good. So, so in case you want to use another color you can click on color and add the color you want to use so very easy let's move this good perfect so the next thing is to put our text come to your text so we want to change the color to white i use white you can use this white should be perfect depend on your brand color zero nine zero six nine three two four five zero seven all right let's change the font Let's use this. Let's reduce the size to thirty. Perfect. Let's copy. So don't forget if you want to use ruler to measure the the straightness, click here and drag this to this place all right as it if you want to use this so just know how to use so we need to bring this one down a little as a little okay let's copy it your email address You type in dot com. Oh, com. All right. Okay. Oh, so I think we should reduce the size to twenty-five. Yes, twenty-five. So we should increase this, we should reduce this to 25 as well. To our four to make sure of the uniformity.
so let's copy the third one let's copy So I think everything is perfect. Get rid of the ruler. So that's the second design. So you can save as project business card back. So okay. Save as project as image. Don't forget to use Ultra. So save to gallery. So that's that. So we can close this. So I achieve the design like this. So it's what we call mock-up. Mock-up is used to to as your the representation of your design so that you can send it to your clients. They will see how it will look like. So there's a website I use. There's a website I use which is yes smartmockups.com so smartmockups.com so you don't need to log in you don't need to sign up you can use it like that free there are free mockups there are paid mockups so the next thing to do is to search for business card Let's click on this. All right. Let me reload the page. All right. Business card. Card. So business cards, small cups. So to give you different examples, different mockups of business card. So if you want to choose the one you like. So I use this because it shows the front and the back. If you want these ones, you can use any of this. So anyone you see this pro logo behind beside that means it's not free it's paid if you are not using their paid products you cannot be able to use it so let's use this click so it will open then the next thing to do is to just to upload your design download your mock-up All right, this is the design. Upload the front to the top. So you can actually import from Canva, but I'm going to be uploading from my phone. Document. So let's do this. So from my phone, gallery, pixel lab, the front, okay, okay, so it's 
now uploading let's upload again from my gallery documents the front okay yes uploaded you can see it has changed the back upload from your phone Once you are done uploading everything, you can see the design here. So the next thing is to download. So if you are using the paid version, that means this tool is a high quality. But if you are not using the paid, you can only download this medium, which is free. Click on the medium and it will download automatically so download complete let's check our download yes these are download so i hope you enjoyed the video